Hello, I'm Tom Williams from the Fort Huachuca Public Affairs Office, and this is your Fort Report. Fort Huachuca officials have recently seen a spike in unregistered pets on the installation. If a pet bites someone and the animal is not registered, the incident could prove to be a death sentence for the pet. We have had several cases of dogs that have not been vaccinated that have had a bite report placed on them. And those dogs, if they have never been registered on post and have never had a documented vaccine, have to spend 10 days in quarantine. And if the bite victim and the suspicious level of that dog's exposure is high enough, then unfortunately some dogs, some dogs have to be euthanized. An unregistered pet biting incident could also hit the wallet of a pet owner. If you have a dog that has not been registered on post, they have bitten another child or any other animal, they may have to spend 10 days in quarantine in our quarantine facility for which the owner will be charged. And, you know, it's kind of like being in a... Uh, juvenile hall for 10 days. It's not comfortable for the dog. We feel bad about it, but unfortunately, if their paperwork had been in order, they would be able to go home and be in quarantine at home for 10 days. Regulations do require pets to have a variety of shots and treatments, and with a small animal clinic on Fort Huachuca, it's easy to bring your pet into compliance. Fort Huachuca requires you to have the leptospirosis, the rabies, a valid distemper, and also a microchip to live on post. Indoor and outdoor cats also need to be registered and up to date with shots because in Arizona, rabid bats can pass rabies to felines. For more information or to make an appointment at the Fort Huachuca Veterinary Services Small Animal Clinic, call 533-2767. That'll do it for this edition of the Fort Report. Have a great day.